Hey everyone, it's Kat and I wanted to talk to you today about something that's been on my mind and it's my thoughts on the awakening process. Some of you are mad at me, even downright hate me because I have changed my beliefs. But did you know this wasn't the first time? From day one of my awakening, I knew I wouldn't quit until I got to the truth to the very bottom of it, to the finish line. I've gone through many rabbit holes to get there. And if you are truly seeking the truth, you would have gone down many as well. Some of you went down the first one. Who knows what got you into it, what that first one was. Maybe it was 9-11, maybe Flat Earth, maybe the small hats, maybe Christian identity. But then you stayed there. You didn't seek beyond that. You felt comfortable in the belief you rested on and decided to follow people who talked on that particular subject and deferred your judgments to whatever that person said. Well, that's exactly what the controllers want. You to be comfortable following someone so that they can steer you away from the truth. A good example, which I always suspected but couldn't find proof, is Sir Oswald Mosley. He headed the fascist party in the UK during World War II. And you can see in this picture, he is doing the hidden hand. Somehow he was able to remain in power, guide his people, where others were attacked and even hung by the rope, like William Joyce. Mosey was knighted, why? He was heading the resistance, steering them away from really fighting back. People like William Joyce and John Amory were real heroes of our people. And I actually need to do a presentation on these two individuals. I was planning on doing one on William Joyce. I really need to do it. Love William Joyce. So just recently, I read a good comment on Mosley, how he was there to control the other side. I wish I kept it so I could read it to you. But yes, it was so true. How he used the lightning bolt symbol. Scotland Sean would tell me Mosley's controlled opposition. He was right, Sean, you were right, but I needed more proof at the time. I am telling you, my good friend, I should have listened to you. Well, it was really in front of my face the whole time. Nothing came out of their resistance, and Mosley went on to live a long life in England, unlike the true fighters of justice. Here's Mosley with his satanic lightning bolt. I did do a presentation on Mosley, which I still approve of, because it tells the truth about fascism. But then I did it with the fascist, who I later found out was an Indian and married to a German girl. Of all people, being so awake on Hitler, he should know better that we are not to miscegenate and that the clergy plan is going full swing in Europe. The fascist knows full well that the white race is diminishing, so he is part of the problem. And I have a problem with that. I do have issues with other things he claims too, such as that the Indians were the true Aryans. Not true. If you read the OLB, you know who the true Aryans are. That the English are bad people. Not true. The Aryans were the Girmana who fled to India hundreds of years ago. And the English are Fryans that were duped into a war, just like the Americans were, fighting our brothers. And the fascist is a universalist, cucking for the church. Not good. So many national socialists are falling for this crap. And of course, most know Alex Jones is a universalist and a small hat sympathizer. It became apparent not too long ago when he started cucking for the new state in the Mediterranean that begins with an I. And his ex-wife is apparently from that tribe. Just hanging out with Charlie Sheen, a known pervert, should speak volumes. His dad, Martin Sheen, taking the last name from a priest that was a Universalist Catholic, Fulton J. Sheen, should be a clue, right? The Catholic Church and the Small Hats are hand-in-hand in, hand in our oppression. 
both are Maggie, but with the small hats on top. That is why the Pope wears a small hat. So Alex is controlled opposition, just like Mosley was. Then there are all the others too in the Flat Earth community. Say a name and look at what they push. Eric Dubay pushes the vegan agenda and Eastern philosophy, which is just another rabbit hole, as well as having a Thai girlfriend. So pushing miscegenation, another no-no. But he catches people in his net because he is pro Hitler, which is a good thing. Eric did wear the dress, posing as the tranny Pat Steer, castrated bull, and he does Masonic hand signs, as do others in the flat earth community. You know the obvious ones, but look at the ones that might not seem so obvious. They are out there. Look at them closely. I don't need to say everybody's name. If you just look, you'll find out. You'll see who they are. So here, Eric is doing the V for victory for 22. So they love 22 and they love 33, right? 22 is for the full tarot card, the card of Lucifer. So he's... So he's in homage to Lucifer here, and he's also in orange, which is 33. So he has the 22 and the 33 in the same picture. Then you get people like Dave Murphy, who is of mixed race and an apparent hater of the white race, pushing that whites are alien to Britain. And not only that, he says we are alien to the whole planet. Yeah, alien to the whole planet, this asswipe, that's what he says. So. This is when I first found out about the clergy plan when he made his uh, presentation on Great Britain and it just really fired me up. So that's what started me making my presentation on the clergy plan and everything since then. So what he pushes is that Europe is not our homeland but the homeland of the blacks and people are buying that shit complete shit and here he's doing a masonic hand sign now what does ci do it pushes that we originated in the desert not in our european homeland kind of david murphy ish don't you think that is pure bullshit can we see how they're trying to push us out of our tidal lands we were designed by god to live in the north that is our homeland we have light hair, light eyes, and light skin because that is the perfect design for a less brilliant sun. That is why we burn when we're in the tropics and that is why they don't. Because they're made for there, we're made for the north. And only Fryans have naturally blonde hair. One of the biggest attacks I got was from this camp, the CI camp. Talk about haters. It's funny because at first I couldn't buy a dual seed line that fallen angels mated with monkeys and made the other races. That's what they believe, seriously. My goodness. Lord help them. But then I realized even Charles Weissman got it wrong and I still have affinity for Weissman's work because he got so much right. He loved our people and his history of America and the differences of the races is excellent work that I still highly recommend. So as you're researching, you know, you don't throw away the nuggets. You're going to find some really good nuggets. So you keep those. You just throw away the rest and keep going. So Weissman gave me some great nuggets and I really appreciate it. Another issue I have with CI is the whole women should not be heard thing the truth can only come from a man i actually had someone say that to me they said that where did that i'm so smart where did i get that information did you get that from your scotland friend you know because he's a man and uh yeah scotland sean is very bright definitely and he can hold his own but i didn't get it from sean I, I was doing this stuff for years before I even met Sean. So it's just funny. It's like, oh, a woman. A woman can't know this stuff. She has to get it from somebody else. No, that's not true. A woman can be just as effective in researching the truth and sharing the truth as a man. 
And I do appreciate Sean, you know, being on this journey with me. So he agrees with me and it's great. It's great to have a friend like Sean. This effectively cuts off half of our people from sounding the alarm. Abraham over Sarah with his handmaids. I always had issue with this. I think of the series The Handmaid's Tale and think, no, we are not these liberal, miscegenating LGBTQ people that go to Canada, these miscegenators, and we are not these conservative, finger-chopping, eye-poking-out people who can't have a woman be free. Fryans were equal. All men and women were equal and free. The woman was the Berg matron. The man was the king. Two roles of equal strength, complementing each other. What they do today is make you think that you have to be either this woman's liver, bare, breast-bearing, purple-haired thing, or a super conservative slave behind a man, when neither are correct. Eve wasn't the downfall of man. That is a fabricated story. Eve, or Eva, as we know from the OLB, is the sacred word for the laws written in all Fryan's hearts. That's what it is. So if you call me Eve, Eva, whatever, I'm going to take that as a compliment because that's the laws written in our hearts and I do follow those. Thank you. Women do have a right to be heard. And then there was Ronnie and Jason who hated me for deciding their square map model of flat earth was incorrect. I tried to leave amicably but they couldn't have it and attack me. Well, I still think they are wrong, that we can't magically go from one end where Japan is to the other end where Hawaii is. On their map, Hawaii would be extreme west and Japan would be all the way on the other side, extreme east. I'm sorry, but I don't believe we go through some crazy gate we don't see and get beamed up like on Star Trek to the other side of the world. I am not buying it. And we are not in a simulation either. Yes, the sun appears to be within the clouds. I bought a P900 and filmed it myself. But that is just an optical illusion. Just like the vanishing point is when watching ships go over the horizon. They don't, of course, we're on a plane and it's just an illusion that they go over. Jason also thought he was the son of man incarnate. It's true. He actually said it in one of his podcasts on air. So that should tell you where their minds are at. When ODD and I became friends, we did a collaboration together and we're hanging out. Then truth is stranger than fiction got jealous or something I still don't understand and he decided to attack me. Well, he attacked ODD and Cracker WV2, but they weren't called witches. And he said it was me controlling ODD. My goodness, what crap. He said I was a witch or something and into astral shit or something like that. I can't quite remember exactly what he said because it wasn't true. <laughs> don't don't know what he's talking about but he was a hundred percent wrong and I never did anything he claimed there are so many a-holes in the truth community you really have to have thick skin to participate then we have ball b-a-l Brian Austin Lambert who had the plasma theory I was intrigued at first but with him being the only one that would know the time and date of the earth-shattering event and you have to pay $333 to find that out was a dead giveaway to his shilliness. Yes, I should have not put the decoding aside. The B-A-L for Ball, B-A-A-L, another name for Lucifer, his favorite color blue, like Blucifer, and his love of 33 should have been a warning. I do have this trusting nature and I do put it aside when I shouldn't. Lessons learned. I just walked away from it and he attacked me. I think this was all for him to move up the Masonic ladder. That's my personal opinion. 
Things like Mud Flood, I don't buy anymore either. Ugh, just another rabbi hole. Yes, there were some old buildings that had to be built up. So they were out of the flood zone, like in this picture. But most of the buildings shown are just buildings where they utilize the space underneath for maximum space. Cellars were used to preserve food, like our refrigerators of today, for storage, etc. It's that simple. No mud flooding through the land. Martin Lied Key looks like he is from that tribe, and he always talks of whites in a negative light when speaking on them in old paintings. Philip's last name, Drews Hinnin, means comrade in Russian, and he looks like he's from that tribe as well. I walked away from them too, but besides a crazy comment from Martin, I was unscathed. Once I discovered the Orlinda book, I felt finally I've discovered some truth. It really hit home with me. I felt a deep connection to my ancestors while reading it. I yearn to be with them, to share in their experiences back then. How ashamed I feel now that our people have strayed and been brainwashed so bad today. Hitler felt this deep connection, as did Himmler. His paper, Voice of Our Ancestors, proves this. Some of you write comments that it was a proven hoax, talking about the Orlinda book. To me, that just shows how severely brainwashed you still are. That you don't have the courage to look into it and verify it. I did, and I can see why they try to cover it up. Because it proves our ancestors were against usury, against miscegenation, were known as the Friants, which mean free people, and would never enslave another. And most importantly, they knew they had God's laws written in their hearts and didn't need a book or a priest to tell them right from wrong. They didn't need a savior because they knew that they had to save themselves. And you should know if they can't get rid of it, their next strategy is to ridicule it, just like they do with flat earth. But somehow you just accept this instead of researching it for yourselves. So instead you attack me, say you don't understand me, knew you shouldn't trust me, say I'm backsliding, call me names, etc. I would be more wary of people that are stagnant, that don't ever find new truths, that just spew on and on on one particular topic. Don't branch out, don't seek. But some people do understand, are on the same path of discovery as me, research the shit out of everything like me, and will get to the truth. But many of you are not meant to. It is just how it is. For me, I will continue in my quest for truth. Even with the Orlinda book, I am not stopping. Finding new discoveries like Himmler's paper, the Terran Basin mummies with the bee on their foreheads, and the writings of Plato, which I am working on now, will not stop me. If the OLB is the truth, then it will stand. And so far it stands. It stands. It shines. And I've had many more who have attacked me. I just didn't name them all here. I have a ton. <laughs> and with this last attack, I was curious how many are still with me from the very beginning when I first made my website in 2015 and my main YouTube channel in 2016. I ended up deleting the poll, unfortunately. I wish I took a screenshot. But the results were about 30% of you parti who participated in the poll said they have been with me from the beginning. So kudos to you guys, really. Kudos to you. That is freaking awesome. And for the ones who came aboard later and are with me now, still, even after my new revelations, 
kudos to you too. I'm really proud of you guys. I really am because it takes a really strong person to keep going, to break through each conditioning program to get to the other side of it and to get to the truth. It takes a lot. It really does. So good job, really. And Brian Price left a nice comment under my latest bid on BitChute recently where he said, when the honest man is confronted with the truth, he either changes his mind or stops being an honest man. Cat is an honest woman. I do so appreciate his comment. Brian gets it. Thank you, Brian, very much. So I will continue doing what I do, but don't know how much longer I will share. You know, because I only, sh I don't have to share with you guys. You know, I, sh I share with people I think are like kind. You know, that will get a benefit from it, but I don't have to. <laughs> I could stop at any moment. So, don't just rely on me, okay? You need to actively seek as well if you really desire the truth. Break all your programming. You can do it all by yourself, too. But kudos to the ones that have been with me and stay with me. I really appreciate it, guys. Anyway, just want to get that off my chest. Take care, guys. We're all to bless. <laughs>